Hey guys, so progressing on with my final enthroned LP and the rest of uh, where I'm going with my vinyl collection at the moment. So the last enthroned release I have is Armored. <coughs> wow, that was great, eh? Armored Bestial Hell. That's the next album. That tank on the cover is cool. Back here, song titles. This is the inside of the gatefold, nothing special, just lyrics and album credits. And it's on plain black vinyl. Um, the release date. On this, uh, it was recorded in two thousand. The new artist here reached H. This band's from the UK. Fans of Cradle of Filth. These next two LPs by this band, if you love. Um, the, the awesome era of Cradle of Filth from uh, The Principle of Evil Made Flesh up till Cruelty and the Beast, Cradle to Enslave, Midian era-ish, then you'll love these uh, next couple of albums by this band, who are also from the UK, Cradle's from the UK as well, and they are Hakate Enthroned. This back on black version, this is their first album, The Slaughter of Innocence, but uh, they made an EP before this called Upon Promethean Shores, Unscripted Waters, and uh, this back on black release uh, includes both of them. side of the gatefold there no lyrics but it's got like uh album credits uh my bad there's some lyrics to some stuff album credits lyrics for both albums and it's they're both on uh standard clear vinyl uh i'll be showing you a couple other clear vinyl and then i'm gonna stop bothering to show you plain clear stuff because like with the black I don't want to waste your time so uh, Slaughter of Innocence was released in 1997 and upon Promethean Shores Unscripted Waters that was released in let me just look at the album credits here uh, 1995 for Promethean Shores Cold's killing me. Next up, and the last one to feature the Cradle of Filth likes uh, sound Dark Requiems and Unsilent Massacre. It's the front, the back, inside of the gatefold. Quite nice. Nice shot of the band. White background with the lyrics to all the tunes and the album credits. <coughs> this album came out in 1998, I believe. Uh, yes, 1998. And this album came on standard, just plain gray vinyl. This is another color that a bunch of my albums have, so I'm not going to bother showing them all. That's side B. 
This is the album that got me into Hikari Enthroned. I had a CD version of this album show up used in my favorite local record shop. I looked at the cover and I knew it was heavy, but because it was a used recording, they used to have a stereo set up with headphones and you could uh, check stuff out that was used. You could listen to it uh, before buying it and I listened to it and they sounded just like Cradle of Filth. So I took that puppy home with me. Next album by Akari Enthroned. And first of like a new era of the band, Virulent Rapture. There's the back. Came with a little uh, cardboard sleeve. On this side, lyrics, album credits. On this side, thanks list and shot of the band. The vinyl for this one's cool. It's like a marble, orangey marble. Side A, side B. This album came out in, just trying to find the release date on it, 2013. I have to be careful when I give you the date because sometimes with these vinyl, they just list the date that the pressing was released, but that's not the date that the actual album came out. And this album was out for years before they made the final version. So next up, also by Hakari and Throne, and the last one I have by them, their newest album, Embrace of the Godless Eon. Sarah Jezebel Diva, ex Cradle of Filth, also uh, she did vocals for Angtoria, uh, Covenant, and uh, Mortis. Um, Maybe in other places too, but those are the ones I know for sure. <coughs> she did uh, guest vocals on some songs on here and a couple on the last album I showed you. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm tying from this cough. So it came with uh, lyrics and album credits sheet. And the vinyl for this looks really cool. It's a nice uh, splatter. There's side A. And side B. This album came out in 2019. Next up, we have Horde. This is a solo project of the original drummer of Mortification. This is done in the style of Norwegian black metal. Came with a little printed insert here with the logo on this side, album credits and lyrics on that side, and the vinyl, as you can see, is just on plain clear. That's going to do it for this video.